Three weeks after the Lebanese government resigned, a relatively unknown diplomat has been named the country's next prime minister. Mustafa Adib, who's a Sunni Muslim, won the backing of parliamentarians. He'll now have to form a government following the deadly explosion at the port of Beirut earlier this month. Meanwhile, the French president, Emmanuel Macron, had been pushing Lebanon's leaders to agree on a candidate. He's due to arrive in the country later. Well, there's widespread anger at the political elite in Lebanon due to long-standing corruption and nepotism. The Prime Minister-designate has already felt some of that hostility on his first walk around the capital today. Carol Malouf has more from Beirut. Mustafa Adib, uh, he's uh, currently, he was until yesterday, the uh, Lebanese ambassador to Germany. Uh, and previously, he served as chief of staff of uh, Prime Minister Najib Mipati. Uh, he came, he was named uh, Prime Minister designate after a deal was struck between the big parliament parliamentary groups, mainly between uh, Saad Hariri's Mustaqbal group, which is the Sunni group, and uh, Hezbollah and Amal, which are the Shia group, and both groups named him uh, as the prime minister-designate. However, uh, in his first uh, trip to the uh, devastated areas in Beirut, where the port explosion happened, he was uh, unwelcomed by the protesters and by the volunteers there. And they told him that, you know, you don't represent us, you represent the establishment, you represent the ruling class, and you do not represent the people. So we see that there is still a divide between what the people want and the, uh, what, uh, and the person who was named prime minister by the ruling elite. Okay. Well, we know the French president Emmanuel Macron is due in the country. No doubt he'll be hoping for a warmer welcome when he lands. How is his visit being viewed? Well, there is also a lot of skepticism about his role because when he first came after the blast, a few days after the blast back in uh, mid-August, he uh, promised the people, uh, he over-promised the people a lot of reforms. He told them, we hear you, we, we, we listen to your needs, and people were asking for an independent government that represents them. However, what happened was that they, they saw that there was a deal struck between the political parties and the people were left outside uh, outside government. So people are not very happy with, with President Macron at the moment.